Hello, this is Pat with Warner's Tree Surgery, and today I'll be talking about citrus trees and some of the problems they face here in Maricopa County. The leaves are usually the first thing you notice when something is wrong, so let's take a look at some of the common problems. This is what nitrogen deficiency looks like, and we can fix this with correct fertilization. This is what a zinc deficiency looks like, and again, we can easily fix this condition with correct regular fertilization. Herbicide damage sometimes looks like this, and it requires a little more work for us to correct. We usually start with a soil leach, and we also strengthen the tree's roots with a mycorrhizal root treatment. Be careful, fertilizing makes this problem worse. We often see leaves that look like this in a condition called citrus greening. The cause is a bacterium spread by aphids. The symptoms include fruit drop, twig dieback, and fruit that is lopsided, small and bitter tasting. Again, if you have this problem, give us a call. We can help. This is what sooty mold looks like. It's sooty and moldy looking and it develops on leaves or fruits that have been fouled by honeydew that was left by sap sucking insects. We can help, give us a call. Manganese deficiency is a common problem in which the leaves turn yellowish but larger veins remain slightly green. We can easily fix this condition with correct regular fertilization. Citrus gamosis is caused by two soil-borne organisms. The symptoms include cracks in the bark and a sappy honey-colored gumming. This is pretty easy to spot. If you see this on your trees, give us a call. We can help with this problem. One more thing before I go. A major cause of citrus tree death is the person with the weed eater. And once they cut completely through the bark of your citrus tree, it's dead. So please check on this regularly. Goodbye for now. I hope to hear from you soon. Hi, this is Warner, and I need to interrupt this video to bring you news about a new threat to your trees. The ash whitefly has been in Maricopa County for at least three years. This tiny insect has the ability to completely defoliate at least 40 species of trees. The list includes the ash tree, citrus trees, jacarandas, tipus, orchid trees, the flowering pear, and many more. The adult ash fly appears much like a typical white fly with a light dusting of white wax. Depending on the temperature, the females live from 30 to 60 days, while the males live an average of 9 days. This rapid development time, coupled with the absence of the predator wasp, produces numerous generations per year in Arizona, plus the ability of all of the life stages to overwinter on trees like pines, citrus, oaks, and others, allows a rapid buildup in population at the start of the season. Winged females lay eggs on the underside of the leaves, and when the nymphs emerge, they rarely move far. They feed on the plant sap until they're mature. To learn more, go to my website. The Universal Resource link should be on the screen now. Please watch the video and read the information on that page. We are now returning you to the video you are watching. Thank you. Hi, this is Pat with Warner's Tree Surgery. If you found this video helpful, would you take a minute to write a Google review? Just do a Google search for Warner's Tree Surgery, then sign in with your Google account. Then give us a rating, then write a review. This will help other people to find us on Google to get the latest information about their trees. Thank you.